you describe what has been going on here at this Walmart today? Yeah, shortly before noon today at the Walmart here located at 3201 East Platte Avenue, an unknown caller uh, called into the bakery advising the employees that there was a uh, bomb that was placed inside of the store and gave mention of a particular location. The employees notified management uh, right away. It just so happened that an extra duty officer with the Colorado Springs Police Department had just started their shift. So management uh, consulted with the extra duty officer and the leadership team here at Walmart made the decision to, uh, out of precaution, to evacuate the store at that time. And so the extra duty officer called in available resources so we could shut down the traffic and help with those evaluations. Uh, as they're conducting a sweep of the store to ensure that there's no suspicious items or there's no actual bomb or any type of threat inside of the store. And approximately how long has it taken to look through the store since around noon or so? So the, pr the process has been going on with traffic being shut down. Near 30 minutes ago, so it's about 1.45, so about 1.20ish. Uh, members of our EOD team, which is more popularly known as the Bomb Squad, showed up just as a, again as a precautionary measure and they have uh, certain tools with them that can help with those sweeps. So the investigation is going on now. And as of right now, there hasn't been any indication that there has been a, a threat like a bomb or something as of right now? Yeah, at this moment in time, no actual suspicious items have been located. But like I said, um, the sweep is continuing and the investigation is kind of continuing also. Uh, and approximately how long is the sweep expected to last? How long will the store remain closed for today? Yeah, it's unknown period of time for how long it's going to remain closed. Uh, if you're familiar with this Walmart, it is quite a big store. So I'm sure they're, um, you know, they're working diligently as best they can, as safely as they can to be methodical and systemat and have a systematic approach to that sweep to ensure the safety of everyone still remaining inside then again opening it back up to the public. Who is inside now? Is it you know, I having not been inside, I can't answer that question. Sure, yeah, uh, you know, with uh, any business or school or anything like that, um, I, I think it's certainly there's a cause for concern when people call in and make these type of threats. And out of precaution, you know, it's good to take them seriously because you don't want to, you want to make sure, ensure the safety of everybody. So that's priority number one. If it turns out um, at the conclusion that there's no suspicious items, there's no threats on the scene, then that investigation continues to determine the, the origination of the caller and the identity, if you can, and the location of the caller. So certainly it's a drain on resources, but it's out of safety for everyone that's involved, whether that's employees, teachers, kids, students, you know, the uh, consuming public. Uh, so I mean, that's priority number one. And then if it ends up being a hoax or a, or, or a fake threat, a fake call, uh, that will be determined in the kind of the follow-up investigation after we deal with the safety part first. And as of right now, there is still no indication that this is confirmedly fake or confirmedly real at this point? Correct. At this point in time, uh, we're conducting those sweeps to ensure the safety of everyone. And, and before the management makes the decision to reopen to the public, uh, once that is concluded and there's, we've deemed it safe and there's no suspicious items on scene, through that follow-up, that's when we'll be able to tell whether or not it was, it was fake or not, depending on the outcome of this preliminary investigation. All right. 
I want to thank you for joining us in the 11 Breaking News Center this afternoon. I'm Lauren Watson, your digital anchor here at KKTV 11 News. Officials are investigating a reported bomb threat at a Walmart in Colorado Springs. This is the Walmart at Platt and Shelton. I'm going to pull up some of that raw video from our reporter Cameron Dean on scene. If it's a little shaky, if it's a little... Um, you guys can see some of the production aspects behind when our reporters give us some of their video back. That might be something you see right here in this video. Again, this is just a few minutes before that press conference that just occurred. Right now, officials are saying that store has been evacuated. They're saying just after noon, employees at the Walmart reportedly received a call from an anonymous person saying there was a bomb inside the building. The building was evacuated. The regional bomb unit was called to the scene. That sweep is still ongoing, but as of right now, they say there is no indication that there are explosives or that there is a sus suspicious item in the store. But again, that sweep is still ongoing. Our reporter Cameron Dean is live on scene right now. We'll have more from him in our afternoon newscast. But until then, I'm going to leave you guys with this look at what that scene looked like, what he was looking at before that press conference just a few minutes ago. But thank you for joining us.